This is a story about a boy named Robert who lives on a farm in Learning, Vermont. He's a smart kid who does well in school except in English. Robert lives with his father, a pig slaughterer, his mother, and his aunt. The farm is doing pretty well and his father notes that they'll soon own the land if they keep working. One day Robert runs away from school and as he approaches his farm, he sees a cow from the neighboring Tanner's farm that is giving birth and decides to help it. However, in an attempt to save the cow from choking, he sticks his hand down its throat and the cow bites down. He's battered and sewn up from the injuries. Mr. Tanner then gives Robert a pig for saving the cow and Robert raises the pig, Pinky, as a pet. Pinky even wins a blue ribbon at the local fair. However, it's discovered that Pinky is barren and they must kill her. As they kill the pig, father and son share a moment of mutual respect for each other. All seems to be going okay until Robert's father reveals that he's been sick and that he will soon die. He explains that Robert will have to be the man of the farm when he's gone. Robert is reluctant to fill this role but soon accepts it. His father dies the following spring. This is a real coming of age story where a boy must grow up to assume the role of his father. Robert doesn't understand his father, but through raising Pinky, he learns little by little what it means to be a man. There is also a discussion of religious tolerance in this story. Robert and his family are shakers who abide by strict religious rules. At first, he dislikes those of other religions, particularly Baptists. But when he realizes that his neighbors are Baptists, he learns to accept their different religious practices. Most important, we are reminded of life and death as fundamental principles in life through this rural setting. Life has a beginning, as we see in the birthing of the calves, the new litter of kittens, and the introduction of Pinky. But at the same time, we are also reminded that life has an ending, as we see the death of a frog, squirrel, Pinky, and even Robert's father. But consistent with Robert's father's view of manhood, death is just something that has to be done. So why is there a day no pigs would die? As the story goes on, it would seem like Pinky would be spared by the father, similar to what we see in Charlotte's Web. However, it's quite the opposite. Quite unexpectedly, when Robert's father dies, a lot of his co-workers show up to his funeral, thus stopping work at the slaughterhouse, and that is why it was a day no pigs would die.